Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ETL Hub. In this video, we will learn to build a process in application integration. Here I will trigger ISS process through Postman by passing input as hello and in its response we will expect output as hello world from process when it is successful. Let's see how it looks. I will send the request and in response I am getting output as hello world when the request is successful. So let's build the similar process in ISS. So let's get started. Log into your ISS screen. Go to the application integration. Click on new button. Here you will see process. Click on the process. Create it. So this is the process designer screen. So you have start node and end node. At left you have different steps to, that can be performed like assignment, service steps, sub process, etc. Click on the start. Here you will see the start properties option. Zoom the panel. Give the process. I will give PR. Hello world. V2. So if you click on the override API name, so the overridden name will be shown when you publish the, uh, this process. You can choose the folder by clicking on the browse wherever you want to locate it. In the start, the binding type will be REST. So as we are triggering this process through uh, REST API call from Postman. So if there is any allowed groups of users in ISS that you can mention the group name. If there is individual users that can only trigger this uh, ISS uh, uh, process, that also you can mention. So I will give my username, ISS username. If you click on allow anonymous access, anyone can run this process outside of your uh, organization as well. We will run this on cloud server. Either you can run it on cloud server or secure agent. As we are making REST API call, we will run it through cloud server. So you can declare input fields. So the input fields will be like whatever the request that we are passing, those should be declared first as an input field. So here we will declare. So this is the name of my field. So this is the time. It can be date, date time, time, integer, text. If you click on this required, it is a mandatory field that should be passed as an input. Similarly, output field are the fields that will be shown as a response when it is successful. So I will name it as an output field name. Here also we will have type. You can initiate the value. Temporary fields are more like variables which you can use to perform intermediate logics within the process. In the advanced option, there are different tracing levels, none trace, normal, verbose. So if you click on verbose, it will trace for the application integration with data. You can suspend on faults. If there are any faults, the process will get suspended. You can treat empty string as not null by clicking on this option. So let's save these properties. So here you will see the change in the name of the process. That is PR Hello World V2. Now bring the assignment task between start and end. So assignment task is to assign value to the particular field. Assign value to output field. So let's name it. In the assignment tab, Maximize it. When you click on this plus sign, whichever the fields are available, input, output and temporary fields, it will be shown over here. So I want to assign the value to output field. So there are three methods that you can assign through it. One is the content where you will pass the plain string. Field is like you can map the field. So I can map the field as input over here. And there is a formula. So basically we will be using X queries to formulate it. If you want to do some concatenate functions or like 
you want to do the upper case lower case all those functions will be over here if you want to perform any mathematical operations you will get it over here so for this tutorial we will using content and we will give the values hello world now save the changes so we have built the process but to run it through postman we need the endpoint url so if you go to the property details tab so currently you won't be seeing the endpoint because the status is unpublished so click on the publish option iss will create a endpoint for this endpoint url so you will have two endpoint urls rest service url soap service url so as we are triggering using rest service url so we will copy this url in the postman go to the postman click on this new tab now how to create a request in your uh, postman so we will refer the swagger file it is nothing but the documentation of the api to trigger it through a uh, postman or make any api calls so we are using swagger 2.0 version so following in the description this is our host host name and the basically your your main url consist of host name base path and api path that is path pr hello world so this base path will be common across all the application integration processes but this path will be the your process name and host is your server name and your port from where you are trying to trigger this iss process so this is how it makes the complete your endpoint url and https is your schema that is protocol so this is host name this is base api path and this is path so operation id is pr hello world it creates one operation id so we are consuming data in the json or xml format and also it might produce in json or xml format so if you see the parameter body the parameter we are passing is in body format and it is required so that means you need to create a body parameter the security is like basic authentication so we will pass our uh, iss credentials as an basic authentication as a part of basic authentication method so this is your request field name so here is the type the type is string so if you want to create the similar if you want to actually know how it should be displayed we can use the swagger editor website where you just need to give the details over here it will create the request format just paste it over here see you will see the method is post scheme is https you can relate it the body object is required this is how you should pass the format in your request so what we will do so we'll make changes based on this go to your postman change the method over here to the post go to the authorization click on the basic auth you can give your password here so you will see the password so you can create a variable in the new environment you can go to this new environment tab and here you can click the variable and make the type as secret give your iss credential the username should be same as your uh, iss username now if you see the headers are already in place we are not required to give any headers now i go to the body so based on this just copy this as it is go to the row and replace this string as hello
you are done with your request creation. Now click on the send. Here it is. You can see output as hello world. So the request is successful and we are getting the desired output. If we want to monitor the logs of the process that has been executed, we need to go to application integration console services. So in the processes, you can see cloud and the secure agent. So as we have run our process on cloud, so we will choose cloud. So this is the unique ID generated for each instance of that process run. This is your process name. I have run only first version of it. So it is showing one. It will show the start date, end date and status. It might be suspended failed or completed. So if you click over here, again you can restart it or you can delete this logs. So if you want to explore more, click on this link. So at the left side you can see logs that has been captured step wise. So start you can see how much duration it took to complete, then how much time it took for assigned value uh, assignment task and then end one. So in total it took around 11 seconds. You can also see when it started and ended. At this design panel, you can see how the flow has been executed. So it started with a uh, start, then it went to assignment step and then end step. The tick mark symbolize like this has been executed successfully. If it is a cross mark, that means it might have failed over there or any pause arrow, uh, pause signature, then it means it has been suspended at that particular step. At below, you can see the details like current run time, current run, then input fields that we have passed, what the value we have passed. Response we cannot see here right now. So if you want to understand what the values are getting assigned, you can go to the advanced view. If you go to this variable section and you click on the input, it will show all the input fields. Let me zoom in the fields. So here you can see the username. Then you can see the input field that have passed as an hello. So if I want to check the output field, see this is my output field. This is the field name and this is the corresponding value. So this comes very handy while debugging the process when you go to the advanced. In upcoming videos, we will learn to create a service connector. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Please like and subscribe my channel.